Hi everyone, this is Christine Josty of Mail Something Pretty, and I want to show you this fun interactive card. Um, this is actually a club project, and they requested to make a double slider card, and so um, this is it. Um, so your cards, well, you know, when they're done, they look like that. You pull on the ribbon, and then you get your your double slide. So they're kind of fun. Um, they are not complicated. Well, I shouldn't say that. They they can be a little complicated, but if you follow the steps, then you'd be fine. If you kind of do a misstep, then you get frustrated, um, which I did as I was setting it up. But I hopefully I have it all laid out for you, and so you will not um, fall into the, my mistakes, and it will be a successful slider for you. Um, back when I started stamping, I took to classes as many people do, and um, I'm just trying to fix this so I can show it to you. Um, and we made a double slider, and I remembered it, and it's just timing was funny because my daughter was cleaning her room, and I think I made this about 12 or 13 years ago. So this is the my original slider that I made in a class, and so I'm really glad I had it because I went on to Pinterest to look up how to do it, and um, I got really confused. So I kind of took it apart to see the construction. Of the card so um, I was very happy and thank you Nancy for teaching me this card um, because it really helped out all right so for my club a lot of this stuff is going to be kind of pre punched and ready for you to go so you should be able to follow along but for those who are watching um, who are not part of the club and you want to make it up on your own I'm going to hopefully give you all the right dimensions and the right steps so you're going to start with um, your base it's going to be nine inches by five and a quarter inches. And then, I'm going to take this off. So, which is, this is that size. And then we're going to score it. Can you see these? We're going to score it. Oh, my arm. Move these again. Hold on. There we go. I have a little table here that I'm working with. Um, this way. All right, we're gonna score it at two and a half five and a half and eight and a half I don't know if you've seen this trimmer before but it is a great trimmer Stampin' Up just kind of came out with it within the year I think and um, I've been really happy with it it's $25. It's well worth it. The blades last a long time. It, what I really like is it just sits really nice flat on your table. Um, so I'll just show you that a little bit. All right, so we scored it. And now we need to, this is where I used to get confused. So I'm going to look at my mock. Look, at, I have directions of all the order of what to do. All right. We're going to take a circle punch, any size circle punch. Um, this happens to be one and a half. I'm going to put this in the middle panel, right? So there's one panel here, here's the middle, here's the third, and then that's that little tab. And I am eyeballing my center. I can see the score lines on either side. And I'm just doing a little half circle because that gives you this little, just to give it a grab, a little piece. Okay, I'm keeping this little tab, let's fold it so you can see it better, on my right side, because I think that will help. I ended up doing some things backwards. Um, and then, what I found to be really helpful, um, some videos didn't do this, but, and I tried it, but it really made it helpful. You see this like notch, we used a square punch here. This notch really helps because it keeps, we're gonna create this plastic and that's what kind of shifts it a little bit. Um, I think that's really key. So I don't have a square punch anymore, but what I do have is whatever this is called, timeless label, I don't know what it's called, but it has this straight edge and it's almost like a square. So I'm going to, I'm going to fold up so I can see the score line better. I'm just gonna do the same thing like I did the circle. I'm just going to punch a little bit and I'm going to do my best to center it. So I see the edge here with the paper and the edge and the edge with the score line. So I just want to take off that little piece. So that is going to enough give me that slider part. Okay. So next what I would do is I would stamp. Um, really you only need to stamp on two sides. 
And the pieces I would stamp on are oops, scoring. So this part that we just notched is the inside. You can stamp it, but it's never going to be seen. So really you just need to stamp. This is your front with a circle and then the back, the part with the tab. So you wanna stamp whatever it is. Club, you are going to just have to um, find your own stamps. Um, but I thought the colors were kind of fun and happy. So you can, um, I'm sure if you have flowers or balloons or something. Um, I've already stamped it just to save a little time on the video. Right here. So I did my zebras. Oh, I didn't even bring up the stamp set. I think it's called Zany Zebras. It's kind of a fun one. It's actually found in the beginner's catalog. Um, but it's available for anybody to purchase. So it's kind of fun. Okay, so that is stamped. And my color here is Melon Mambo, in case you were curious. Um, the next part is we need to um, we need to cut this plastic piece. And I just used a um, plastic bag. I'll show you what I did. This actually happens to be a Stampin' Up! bag, but it can be any sort of, you know, shopping bag. Because you're not going to see it, so it doesn't matter. Um, and I just carefully folded it. And there we go, I had to remember, because I've, I've had the whole bag and I've cut lots of strips. And so I folded it so I can find a straight edge that goes here. And did I even say what I cut it at? Plastic bag, one and a quarter inch wide. So I'm gonna line my one edge here and cut it, and it cuts really nice. And then, because it was folded in half, you actually get two pieces. So I'm going to cut one edge. There's a fold there or the seam. And I'll cut the other side. So you get two and one is plenty big. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to look at the inside. I'll lay this out. And we're going to line this up. So there's our notch. And so it's, it's too big, so I'm gonna trim it. Now the key is, you don't want it, when you tape it down, you don't wanna do it so it's tight. You need it to have a little slack because it needs to be loose so that it can easily slide. And so, I'm just gonna move it down so my seams on the bottom. I actually forgot to bring up my tape, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna use tear and tape as tape, but I'm not going to peel off the, um, the top layer. So I close it and then I'm gonna give it a little slack. So I'm just gonna move it down a little bit. Normally I just use like scotch tape, but this will work. All right, and so I'm not gonna peel that off. So. And so it's still a little tight, even though it's moving. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold that. I'm gonna just stretch it a little bit so it gives a little slack, okay? And then it's important we have the seam on the bottom. Okay, our next step, just looking for my pieces. Here we go. Is the inside and the outside. So you're going to stamp these pieces. Um, here's a... When I stamped this one, I did a little bit too close to the top. So it really, you just barely see it. So you want to stamp closer to the middle. So I've already done that. So these are my, this is the top piece here. And again, club, I already put a hole in it for you. Um, and then you'll tie the ribbon in. Or you can staple a ribbon. Or I think this one had um, a little brad. So however you want it, so a pull tab of some sort. So that's the top, and then this is the bottom. So you see how I kind of stamped it closer to the middle, because this one was a little bit too close. So whatever you know, whatever you want to stamp it at. So then we're going to take our. I'm just using my model here, so I don't mess up. We're going to take our top piece, and we're going to tape it. So I'm just going to use, I'm actually gonna line it up. I'm gonna use some tear and tape. And you do kind of want to use tear and tape because it's an interactive card. So you don't want it just to kind of come off. But I don't want my tape to be any wider than my plastic strip here. 
and we're only putting the tear and tape on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm, so I'm going to actually kind of either go right on top of this scene or, or pretty close to the seam. And the reason why the seam is towards the bottom, because it's never going to slide up to get here, because if it does, it's going to get caught. Okay. So you just want to, I'm just folding that so I know I'm not going, it's going to stay within my card. Okay. So this will be within the fold here and it's, what is the size? Let's tell you. Um, inside panels are two and a half inches wide by four. And they're both the same size. Okay. And so then we are going to flip this over or even flip it over that way. And we're going to affix this. So we're going to do um, print it side down and we're going to put that on the top. So again, we're going to, this time we're going to tape it, put the tape or the tear and tape on the top. I'm gonna line it up like this so I can just eyeball. Let me see. My tear and tape goes right there. You don't want it any wider than the plastic. And then you can just make sure that this is within the fold, but I also lined it up with the white that was underneath it. Okay, so it looks like that's the inside of the top, and that is the inside with the printed part underneath of the bottom. We're almost done. And actually, I probably will we'll do it later. I was going to tie the ribbon on, but we'll do that at the end. So now we just have to kind of close it and tape it. So I'm going to put, here's my printed side, the outside, and that little strip we have on the side, that tab. I'm gonna put tear and tape there. I'm going to take that off. All right, so when we close it, I wanna tuck those pieces in, can you see? I'm going to take this has my thumb is stuck to it, the tape on it, and we're going to tuck this, which is really the bottom size. We're going to tuck that in, and so then we're going to close that. Because if you didn't tuck it on the underneath, it wouldn't. Um, see, this is why we should do your ribbon first. I'm going to pull it out. Uh oh, oh no. That's not supposed to happen. I'm gonna keep going though, in case this happens to you. All right. Okay, we can make it work. All right, turn these off. This is what really happens. taking the excess off. All right, so let's try that again. I know what I did wrong. I didn't really do anything wrong. I just didn't slide it into position. I wonder if that will still stick. All right, so that's at the top and this goes to the bottom. We're putting our ribbon, actually, if yours is, we're gonna slide it to the top and then we're gonna close it. That was my problem because when I pulled it, I pulled it too hard to get it out there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna close it. We're gonna tuck that piece under. And so now, there we go. It's, I pulled it too hard. Okay, so let's put our ribbon on there. If you are watching this before you're making it, put your ribbon on first. It makes it much easier. And then you can pull it. Right. Just using a little string to tie it on. This is fun ribbon. It's the purple posy. It's almost like purple posy, gorgeous grape, Highland Heather, kind of all together.
Oh. Okay. Let's trip it. Okay. So that looks better. <laughs> okay, so it pulls out just like that. All right. So just to finish it off, I put a little belly band on it. And so that is, and you can decorate it yours however you want. Um, six and a half by one and three quarters. So I just kind of wrap it around. And then let's use tear and tape again. I know my battery camera is low. I mean, the, yeah, the battery's low on the camera. So I'm trying to rush. Yeah, that's why I'm making mistakes. And then I just did a little, actually I'll use dimensionals for this guy. Isn't that fun? And then I even put, oh, a little birthday hat and I do have some in this mess. A tag. Well, I don't know. Oh, it's one of my lap. I did kick up your heels. Um, we'll just use some style. Kick up your heels, you party animal. And then I lost it. I have, oh, it's right in front of me. I'd stamped some. This is also from the Zany Zebras um, set, the little hat. So you just colored it with markers. I'm, not, I'm nervous about my camera battery, so I'll color it with the markers, and then I just used a dimensional to put it on top. So there you go. I'll use the mention right there. I'll put this on my blog too. Um, a double cider card. It's a lot of fun. It takes a little patience, um, but it is kind of fun. It, even adults love them too, not just kids. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'm Christine Josty. This is Mail Something Pretty, and please visit my site. Thanks. Bye-bye.